Donnie Van Curen joins us here. We are talking about spring cleaning for our relationships. I like the way you do this. I know that you, you do this occasionally, but this mm -hmm. stuff you don't think about that yeah. we all need to be reminded about. Right. Yeah, it's a good, I mean, we, we think about spring coming. I think a lot of people think about change, and this is a good time to just kind of evaluate your relationships. There's some things we can do to take them to a different level, not get complacent and not get just into a norm. And so these are a few things that, that I kind of want to bring up that may help you do that. Be intentional. That's right. if you mm -hmm. if you think about that. So you say the first thing to do it has to do with intimacy. Yeah, set time aside to talk, and, and what I mean is really talk. I think couples talk, but they don't really get into that deep. Let's talk about our feelings, and guys are like, God, please let's not do that. But if you set some time to get a little deeper in your conversation, you don't have to do it every night. But this would be a good <laughs> time to just go to a restaurant, go for a walk, and talk a little deeper than you normally do, and that'll kind of mix it up a little bit. Yeah, not not checking boxes. You I got think it. that's what you do. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Also, uh, uh, plan a date, do something different. Yeah. Yeah. And, and what I want in the terms of change, this is getting a little closer. This is connection. And, and when we usually do dates, we go to the same restaurant or the same thing. Uh, mix it up a little bit. Do something you haven't done. Maybe go to a different restaurant, but try to be a little more creative. Mm -hmm. uh, that'll help you move in a different direction because sometimes we're just, we may go on dates, but we do the same thing every time. Mm -hmm. And then next you say growth. Yeah, this is making a list of goals you want to accomplish as a couple. And this is that next level. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe read a book together, go on a vacation together, whatever the case is. It would be nice to have a couple goals. A lot of couples do not have them. And if you can sit down and come up with a few goals you can do together that you both believe will be beneficial, that they'll move you, whether as parents or as a husband and wife, to a different direction, this is a good conversation. Plus, it should stretch you a little bit. Mm -hmm. and, and you write this out, you keep the list, Absolutely. you have it handy. Okay. Absolutely. Uh, also, uh, tell your partner five things you cherish about them. Yeah, and this last one is affirmation. This is how do, and, and you would be amazed how this looks in session. Because when you have someone sit down and say, these are, th these are the five things I really cherish, I really appreciate about you, and the husband does the same thing. Well, first of all, they're just kind of giddy, and both of them mm -hmm. are like, man, that was awesome. And I thought, hey, <laughs> I just asked you to talk, talk nice to each other. I, right. I didn't do anything magic, yeah. but man, the feeling and the connection and the intimacy as they walk out of there is pretty big. Well, we don't do that because of the busyness of life, uh, because sometimes we're just more negative, I think, naturally. So if we can do that, you're going to have an impact on yourself and your spouse, and I believe it'll, go, it'll move you forward in the year. Good stuff right here. I like this. I, <laughs> it's just, hey, I, it's, it's... I'd be feverishly taking notes, but... Uh, <laughs> I'll get it to you. Yeah. I'll get it to you. It's good stuff. It'll be on news9.net, and you can also <laughs> send a question for Donnie if you'd like right there, or you can visit his website, counseling1820.com.